hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to work on our dashboard we will add a bottom navigation bar so let's close all the other files and we will go to our pages dashboard dot dot and now in here above the widget build we will create an instance of tab controller we will give it name as controller also we need an integer type variable which we will call index selected as we will have four pages so to which page the user wants to go each page has its own index number so using this index selected we can recognize each and every page as I told you we will use the bottom navigation and in the bottom navigation we have bottom navigation bar items which simply means we will have four items or you can say four buttons for the home earning trips and profile of the user so each page we will recognize using its index number so we can say on bar item clicked To this we will pass one thing that is one thing we will receive here inside this method whenever we call this method we will pass the index of that screen or that page okay which will receive here which will receive here inside this method as a parameter inside this i variable which is basically the index number of that selected page on which the user tap or on which the user click and that index we have to assign to our uh, this index selected okay assign the index clicked assign the index clicked to our index selected and also we can say controller dot index to this we will assign our selected index that is we have to highlight that button also and the result you will see when we will test the application and then again I will explain this code okay please don't worry about that then in the init start built-in method we have to initialize the total number of pages we will have so we can display the buttons for that so what we can do here we can say to our controller we can assign that we can say tab controller and the length will be 4 that is we have 4 pages we sync this and then here with the dashboard stat we can say with single ticker provider stat mixing and then in the dispose method before the super dot dispose we can say controller dot dispose and now let's start implementing in here in our widget build the user interface for that so we can say a return tab bar view physics never scrollable scroll physics controller is our tab controller okay which is by the same name controller children and the children will be our pages so let's quickly create those four pages inside this pages folder so right click on pages new dot file and the first page is by the name home underscore page then right click again on pages new dot file and the next page will be our earnings underscore page then again right click on pages new dot file this will be the trips underscore page and then the fourth one will be profile underscore page so now on the profile page for now we will just quickly import the material dot dot you will create stateful widget we will give it name as profile page 
and just for now we will add a scaffold widget and at the body at the center we will add a text which will say profile let's apply, apply some style on it color will be colors dot white and of course the font size will be 24 so this is our profile page now let's copy paste this on our trips page make sure to select the profile page right click on this and then refactor rename so since this is our trips page so we will just change the name to trips page that's it then paste it on the earnings tab select this profile page okay and then right click on it and then refactor rename and then we will rename this to earnings and then click refactor then go to the home page select this profile page right click on it then refactor rename and this is our home page so now now we can come back to our dashboard dot dot and let's include these pages so at the first index that is first we want to add home page okay so at the first index home page then at the next index we will have earnings page then after earnings we will have the trips page and then at the last index we will have profile page make sure to add const with the children then after the children comes the buttons in the bottom navigation for these uh, for these pages so what we can do is after after the tab bar view first we will add this inside a scaffold widget so just cut this okay control X and first add a scaffold widget and then inside the scaffold widget add body and then we can paste our tab bar view okay so inside the scaffold widget at the body we have tab bar view as you can see that okay that is our pages now we have to add the buttons for these pages so after the body what we can do we can simply say bottom navigation bar bottom navigation bar items and the items we will add now step by step which are basically the bottom navigation bar item or you can say these are basically kind of buttons which you will see on the bottom navigation bar on which the user will click so to that specific page we will send the user so first we have icon and for the home as you know at the first index we have the home page so we have to create a button for that so for the home the icon will be icons dot home and then after the icon we we can add also label and the label for this will be home and make sure to add cost with the items then now we will copy paste this three times okay the next button we have is for the earnings page so for the earnings we will use the icon credit card and we can say then after it we have the trips page so for the trips we will use account underscore tree icon then the fourth one is profile and we can give it name as profile or you can say account now after the items we have to specify the current index so the selected in index selected will be our first index that is the first page 
for example the first page or first at the first index we have over this first page which is home page so by default this will this button will be visible okay and then the background color for our this we have to make sure that it is black okay otherwise if you want to give any other color then you can give it like this but this was just to let you know so other than the default color if you want any background color for the bottom navigation then you can give it here otherwise you know that the default color or you can say the default theme for our this app is black okay so it is totally up to you whatever color you want to give it for now we will comment out this we do not need that unselected item unselected item color that is the items which are not selected so the color for that we will give gray and then the selected one that is on which the user tap the selected item color will be colors dot pink do you want to show the selected labels that is the names for example let's say if this one is selected that is if the user tap on home then the home you want to display so yes any selected one you want to display the title or you can say the label of that and then the selected label style if you want to apply any style on the selected label so you can do that The font size for this will be 12 for the labels and then type like which type we want so it will be bottom navigation bar type dot fixed and then when the user click on any item then we have to call our own item on bar item clicked and to this the index will be passed now how I will now explain first I want to show you guys the result so let's install the app on our phone so now you can see this is our bottom navigation bar okay which has a default black color one thing which I have to mention here as I told you guys okay by default the first page is selected that is the bo first bottom navigation bar item this button is selected as you can see okay because by default we say that the current index will be the index selected and you know that the index selected is initialized with zero which means the page the page at the zeroth index so the page at the zeroth index is the home page which is our first page at the first index you can say okay then at the second index we have earnings then the next index we have trips and then in the next index we have profile so now for example as I told you guys that is when we tap for example when I tap on earnings then it pass the index okay that is if for the home the index was 0 then for the earnings the index is 1 you know that in programming counting starts from 0 okay so at the next index or you can say at the one index we have earnings so 1 is passed to this okay which is received here 1 and that 1 is assigned to index selected which then we assign then the index selected is assigned to the controller that's why you see at runtime that the index change to this earnings and it is highlighted because for this we have specifies the properties that is the selected item color is pink okay and also for the unselected are gray so the unselected are gray and the selected one is pink now when we click on trips okay then the index is 2 that is 0 1 2 so 2 is passed here which is received here okay 2 is assigned to index selected and as a result we see that this one is selected which is our trips page 